Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sontia. Definitely make sure you click the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And oh uh, yeah. So anyway, for today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tour of the new Don Bosco Therapy Center. Yes. As we all know, Don Bosco is an NGO in Freetown where they actually work with uh, children, with youths, anybody in a situation of vulnerability where their right has been infringed on and all of that. And they also empower the youths and the teenagers and children as well. Like, how cool is that? Okay, having someone look out for you, everyone you know related to them, that is good. But anyway, I'll be sharing, I'll be giving you guys the tour of the new Dombosco Family Therapy Center. So, if you want to know what it's about and everything that they do within it, then continue watching. Okay, so as you guys saw on the billboard, it's like one kilometer in and we're currently walking. Can you look at this place? Okay, look at the vicinity. But anyway, we still have a long way to walk, so we are working. Okay, I don't want to show you guys my tools because it's not done. So anyway, let's just go. Okay, so we're finally close to the gate. And just look at the building from out here. The buildings that they have already. I mean, like, okay. You okay? Okay, okay. So we're gonna go in yes i'm out of breath because of the distance that i've walked so now we're going in and this is the security post and okay don't worry i'm gonna show you guys what are these buildings are about okay okay so here is the logistics department slash the finance as well and uh say like this is like the powerhouse that actually runs the busco because here they supply the girls things that they actually need on a daily basis and also the finance for the social workers who are going to be doing the family tracing on anything that concerning the clients and the beneficiary that they have here so let's just continue okay okay so this is uh, the school okay can you just look at this let me just give you guys a view of how the inside look like okay oh uh, they've got a big enough one class so Okay, so we're currently heading to the GSS class. Okay. So apparently the beginner two is not in use and here is the ed teachers of okay, so the ed teacher is currently opening the library for us just so we can have a big full of what is inside. Uh, okay. uh, this is a school library. We have various materials that have been donated by some charitable organizations. They came with them, do this material so that the, the kids can have access to it, so that they can be able to read within their uh, uh, casual time. They come in here and they start to take these books with the supervision of a, social, uh, a teacher and then they try to read most of these books so that at the end of the day we will to read this is so good thank you so much sir like i really appreciate this this is so here is the teacher of this school so like we're just going to know why this school was actually built in this compound and what it's kind of like get to what we all know school is for learning and all of that but what is behind this initiative of them having a school in the compound with the kids as well well, I want to say thank you, first of all, for visiting us. By matter, by matter of fact, the school was built to get or to ease the, the learning situation from these kids because these kids have been in the street for so long. Okay. Deprived kids, some of them have stayed so long 
industry that you have not you know, come in contact with learning materials. So the school was built so that they can salvage their situation so that when they come in the center for such a period, they will have chance to come to this. That's why we call it a non-formal sector. Okay. And this school is comprised of both boys and girls. Okay. We have about 80 girls and 60 boys okay. uh, for now. Okay. We have about five teachers that are teaching in this particular school, qualified teachers that are teaching in this school. That's good. And we have our programs that we schedule monthly every... At the end of each month, we have what we call a monthly test okay. that we have to test the kids whether they are understanding what the teacher are teaching them and then we have quiz competitions that we always do so that we try to you know upgrade their their knowledge in the various sectors both national and international okay so that was the school which is still currently behind me so next i'm going to show you guys the next department that they have here and we're just gonna go and take a look and see what they do so make sure you continue watching okay okay so even with the school that they have they actually have a place wherein the girls can actually learn a skill training and these are the girls who are learning how to sew even with the teacher not even being around as of right now the girls are still learning and still doing the thing This is so great considering the fact that even if you don't want to go to school, at least you can still learn something and still empower yourself and still have something doing. And as we all know, tailoring has money because for you to sell clothes right now, it's pretty much expensive. So this is so good. And here they have a teacher who teaches them how to plait hair and... Now you make up for yourself, so? Yeah. Wow. And she is currently learning how to make a wig cap. And that's the teacher, by the way. This is a practice text. So here is the clinic, okay? Yes. Don't be shocked. I'm shocked as well. They have a clinic in here wherein they actually treat the clients and beneficiary that they have in here when they're sick. And if they need like a major medical attention, they get referred by the doctor that they have in here. Yes, they have a doctor and they have nurses as well. And okay. Mm. So anyway, we're going to talk to one of the nurses. So. Okay, so this is one of the nurses in the Damascus Fumble. So, hi, ma. How are you? Fine. So, um, what and waiting can go on like inside this clinic? Yeah, like, what I can do and all of that? Wait, wait, inside the clinic. But they say we we'll begin them both and uh, God begin, boy begin, anyone we see. But like today is such a first aid where you come, okay. the day where doctor they come, we can make a refer and a big hospital then like we sit the above we okay. we can send on a big hospital. Okay. We we'll open the clinic for like that we able for see the beginning and the beginning will be comfortable with we. Then like we don't call it, we we'll know they not the shelter because social workers then get for work yeah. and, and not go they go on so so we decide for open a clinic. Yeah. Why we get doctor, we get doctor also here yeah, but not every day, every day. It will come three times inside the week. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so they also have a department that is called a child line department. Don Bosco actually have a free line three to three wherein you can call for free if you're in trouble or you need counseling and someone to talk to they have that so we're gonna go into the office and actually see how you know 
like that it goes or works out. So. <sighs> Okay, so this is where the magic goes on. When calls are accepted and all of that, so we're no, going to excuse her. her. Yeah. Mm. So where I'm currently working right now with my feet is the field, but they are not done yet and kind of like making it. But anyway, I'm going to give you guys an outer look so just so you can see. So this is their field. This is their field, okay? But it's currently in the works. They're trying to get it all nicey, nicey. But this is where the boys, the girls, the play and all of that. So this is so cool where they actually have like a huge chunk of space where the girls can do any activity and the boys as well. Like this is so nice. It is so good, okay? I mean, just look. This is just like a turn around of everything well not everything but you guys will get it so i don't want to kind of like cross boundaries but that is the salation house wearing the bus that's the reverend father the director the deputy and the brothers actually stay so these that you're looking at right now these are two separate buildings that is one department and this is one department and we're going to see this one in front so this department here is the girl shelter plus department and this department is get to us working with children who are in the situation of prostitution getting them off the street and also reuniting them with their family and all of that so actually this building is called victoria house of light so this is the lactating mother's room Okay, so these are where the girls actually stay and there's kind of like five room up here and also one down for the lactating mothers. Just take a look at his viewings, okay? And this is the vicinity. So this was the field I was actually showing you guys and all that. Hey. That is the bathroom. This is the bathrooms, different doors, and the toilets in the bathroom. Okay, well, this girl is hardly being uh, Look at one of the rooms. Mm, okay. Wow. Each girl has a corner assigned to them when they have their beds, a table, and a chair and a cupboard as well to put your things so okay this is an ample space and just kind of like privacy as well this is nice here you can see the other shelter which we're going to be going next so nice okay this scene in venue i love it so this is one of the social worker of the gal shelter plus department so Hi ma. Hello, how are you? Fine. So um I just want kind of like a short thing about within this department they actually call kind of like they do. Okay, the girl shelter department was established for girls, underage girls who are in the situation of prostitution. Okay. We they we do take them from the streets and bring them to our shelter for rehabilitation. Okay. And on the re rehabilitation process they go through counseling. They are doing they, they are doing skills training like tailoring, hairdressing, and catering. And while those who want to continue with their education, we have not a formal school, an uh, informal school here. We are in, they used to go every day, okay. Monday to Friday, to okay. attend school. Okay. So after, after the rehabilitation process, based on their cases, we do reunify them back to their family okay. and continue with follow-up visits and engage them in doing something either skills or we provide them with educational support to pay their school fees and provide other school materials for them 
So basically, this is what we do in the Girl Child Surplus Department. Wow, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so this is where the delicious meal that the girl just had is cooked. But they're actually building another place for them. This building you're looking at right now, that's where the kitchen is going to move to. So here is just a temporary place for now. Okay. Look at the artwork on this building of the girl shelter. This is called Gladys House, House of Peace. So, I'm just gonna look and just talk to a staff. Like the structure is kind of like just the same in general. So, we're gonna talk to a staff about what this department actually do and we know, okay? Okay, so the social workers of the girl shelter, like, I don't know, but they're shy to talk to the camera, but it's fine. Anyway, the department on its own actually work with children who are being exploited, violated, and all of that. So that's what the girl shelter is basically kind of for. So anyway, there are two departments left, which is the CCC, the child care center, and the group home. So... We're gonna take a look at that and let you guys see, okay? So that is the child care center and this is the group home. So these are the two departments left that we're gonna see and just see what they do in general. One of the beneficiaries and they actually agreed to talk to us on what the department is about and what he's actually getting from it. So what's not the name? Name now Eustace, Eustace yeah. Jones. Okay, so what is the department they about? Well, this is this department actually they about like for we we not get parents anymore or like some of rural parents don't know want to anymore, and we they, they are for some time at the age of eighteen or if your case kind of bad you they there for some time two or three years after the um, graduating from your skills or get you was in five credits you get you was paper graduated. Then you can go and rent it, they go rent for you on one year or two years, and that's the end. That's how we department the about. Wow, that's kind of like good. Sure. And I'll see you day in your uniform polo. I think so. That's nice. Thank you so much for All this. Right. Thank you. Okay, so that was one of the beneficiaries from the group home department. And as you guys can see, he's staying here and also going to school as well. So, Dambosco really do a lot for these children and which is really so great having, you know, this kind of body and this kind of help in a country because it all helps in empowering and all of that, which is so, so great. They have so many success stories, so many results, wherein it's just like, yeah, like they are doing something, they are making an impact in SL which is which is great <laughs> but anyway so we're heading towards the sister city child care center and we're gonna text us someone and all of that so continue watching and i know this video is already hella long i know but anyway it's nice if we do what they expect you we did have a idea that you listen to people they didn't expect you, they didn't fear you. Any three months, they didn't do one for you. Without you, you know, it's not So the child care center is enjoying, like, there's a fruit along with the lunch. And it's all set. Wow. Okay, so this is now one of the social worker of the CCC department. And a girl photo that we shot something on waiting to the department day about. So, hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the CCC department where we we in nomenclature na child care center. Okay. Yeah. This department the uh, purposely for boys them we don't find the safe at the streets. We don't stray away from the home. We don't lose their family contact, family and kind of street. As most of them get various reasons why they go on the street okay. but we don't propose that we, we objective of this department are for pull them from the streets rehabilitate them and try for re, uh, 
and enjoying them back with the family then. Okay. Because now we believe, see, the Bosco believe, see, the main purpose of the uh, organization now for let picking the be reunite with the family and see how we for help uh, one way or the other. And we, we not only they, they, they rehabilitate, we do also follow up them when they don't reach with the family. We don't reunify them, they don't go to the family. We do follow up them for see how they, 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 they get along with the family. We, within that process, they, we can do mediation, we can do counseling, and even with the follow up na the academic work, we with the support there with school materials there, at least for enable and encourage them so that they will be somebody in na society tomorrow. And we can also support the family back depending on the situation. Okay. Because some the 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 situation could be very much vulnerable. Okay? We not only send the picking back to the family, but we also try for see how for for upgrade the family small way. Then see, the picking will live in an environment where it will be much comfortable, we will grow up well. So all the parts of we 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 program objectives then. Okay. Uh, we they move we they, we can move back from a uh, 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 organization that we we can connect with the it's organization networking. We did the same picking there from different organizations, the Ministry of Social Welfare, the the other NGOs there we they deal with uh, picking business, that with the police, social uh, the, the family support, they said they come with uh, picking the uh, Issa we, we shelter yeah. who they try for help. We get different cases there uh, where we they deal with. We I, I'm not going to explain much because of what protects yes, yeah. the a, 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 a right Co and a, a, confidentiality. Yes, I understand, yeah. yeah. Of course, now we key yes. uh -huh, confidentiality. So, all that and that the part of the package will be helping in there. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So that was the social worker from the CCC department. That's the four departments of this organization. No, it's more than four at least, including the Child Line Center. But anyway, I think I'm just going to wrap this video up here because we've seen everywhere and we've seen what they do. And you can tell me that they aren't doing something because they are and it is so nice Anyway, thank you so much for watching because I know this was a long video. This is a long video So thank you so much for watching. I actually have water in my hand because the Sun really hot and I feel hot as well So anyway, thank you so much for watching and do not forget to click the subscribe button and also give the video a thumbs up if you like it and if you want me to do stuff like this for you guys because i will so anyway thanks for watching and um to my next video bye, bye.